In this presentation, we're going to construct a Hamiltonian circuit uh, through this complete graph. And it's a weighted graph. And what we're going to do is it, the, the weightings are there. Uh, I've put uh, quite a bit there just to sort of because I'm going to do uh, this in multiple angles. Uh, so, what we're going to do here is look at this graph here. And what we're going to do is use the nearest neighbor algorithm to construct a Hamiltonian cycle, the optimal Hamiltonian cycle. In this first example, what we're going to do is start from A. So this is our starting point in this example. And the nearest neighbor is, uh, what we have to do here is determine which of our neighbors, and in this case, all four of the other vertices are neighbors, uh, is the nearest. So B is 100 away, uh, C is 200 away, uh, D is 150 away, and E is 175 away. So I think it's pretty clear that we're going to B now. Okay, uh, that's our first stop. So, what's the nearest neighbor to B? Okay, well, we have the choice of E, and E is 225 away. We could go to B to D, 250 away, or we can go to C, which is 125. So, we're going to go to C. Okay, now. At this stage, the problem is going to resolve itself because there's a couple of things we still have to do. We either have to go to E and then D, or D then E. Okay. So uh, in this instance, what we're going to do is pick out: Are we going to C first, or, or D from C? Are we going to E first, or are we going to D? Now, uh, so 275 to E, or 300 going down to D. So we're going to pick C. That's the nearest neighbor to. E, uh, E, the nearest, uh, e is the nearest neighbor to C uh, from what we have left. Okay. Now we still have, we have to. It's a Hamiltonian cycle. We're sort of really we have we're done now because we're going, we've only got one option left. We have uh, we have to go to D. There's only one route left. There we go. And now we have to go back to A. So our options there were very limited. We had to pick this 75 uh, stretch of our. Our, uh, 75 edge there and finally to get back to A we had to go use that uh, edge of 150. Let's just top them all up actually, this is the other one there. Uh, so this is starting at A so uh, it was 100 from A to B uh, then we went from B to C that was 125 then we went from C to E and that one was 275 okay and let's try and keep it up. 275 and uh, then we were, had to just to sort of complete the job so we went from E to D and then D to A and that was 75 and 150 to get back to and that was a, gra a round total of 725 we're going to do it again now, but this time we're going to start with a different position. And this time we're going to start, I'm just going to scroll down there, and we are going to start from D this time, okay? And what might be interesting here is using the nearest uh, nearest neighbor, do we get a different uh, overall uh, trip, overall mileage, overall distance, overall sum, all those things. So, uh, I know it's a bit cluttered here, so I'll just identify the options. Uh, starting from D, can we go to C, we can go to B, we can go to A, or we can go to E. Well, the nearest neighbor for D is therefore E, so there we go. Okay. Now, the next thing we have to do is we have to go from E to either A, B, or C. So, A is 175, B, 225, or C, 275, so we're going to go to A. And finally, uh, where are we now? So our options are uh, B, which is over here, A to B is 100, or A to C is 200, okay? Well, we're going to go for B there. And essentially what we have, we have to go to C and then we have to go back to D. So really we've got no choice now. We have to go to C 
and then we have to go to D okay so it's, uh, this one we just went around the outside actually and here in this instance what we're going to do is uh, compute up the totals there and uh, I'm just going to scroll right it down here so it was a, a D to E was 75 that's D to E uh, then we went from E to A and that was 175 uh, let's just write that again 175 that's E to A A to B was oops A to B was 100 uh, let's go back B to C was 125 and then finally C to D was 300 now if you thought that up in your calculator you'd find that the grand total there is 775 okay I'm just gonna scroll down here let's sort of compare and contrast this is when we started with the A here and we got 725 and starting from D us using the nearest neighbor 775 all right um, essentially just to sh goes to show that uh, different starting points different overall distances all right, uh, that's enough of that. Let's finish that one up.